John Rakini, Executive Director, Chief Executive Officer of Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute. Been here since uh, 2012 or about nine and a half years. It was just an opportunity. I was in Austin, Texas, knew some people from, from Baptist and Jacksonville Orthopedic Institute and had an opportunity to make a move back to Florida where I was prior to my, my stint in Texas. So ended up, it was a great opportunity for me to, to uh, grow a group and uh, be a part of JOI. Over the last nine and a half years, we've expanded. I think when I started, we were probably around 26, 27 doctors. We're almost at 35 physicians at this point in time. Now renovating an area like this at JOI San Marco. We added Nassau, added Fleming Island. Um, we added a number of rehab locations. So over that time, we have, we have continued to grow. Yeah, the renovations at San Marco the last two or three months, we've been renovating just the front desk waiting area, which we thank our patients for being patient with us during that process. It's been a challenging time for our patients, but um, we've been able to get through it for the last two or three months. And then we're, we're gonna be renovating all the pods or, or the exam room areas, the sub waiting room areas for the next few more months after that. I mean, I think like you said, the quality of the physicians is just, is just extremely good. It always has been. And then, I mean, JOI is pretty tied into the community. We do a lot for the community. We cover all the major sports teams across, across the gamut from the Jaguars to the Jumbo Shrimp, right, to, to JU. So we do a lot of the local high schools as well, as you know, that we're involved with. So I think that's what we do. We get people back on the field, back in real life, um, weekend warriors, whatever it might be is what we do. I mean, I would say for, for what I see, you know, there's a lot of people that reach out to all of us individually to try to get, you know, their, their family members in, their kids in, to be seen, to get them back on the field. Uh, when they're able to get back on the field and, and be a part of the team that they've, you know, their high school, whatever it may be, their travel teams, it's fun to see happen. It's fun to see those patients come back and be able to get back to what, what they love doing. What I would say is I would thank the whole Northeast Florida for dealing with you know, us during the renovations. That's been a challenging time because we're limited on the amount of space we have to, to meet our patients' needs. And then uh, just dealing with us and having patients through the pandemic has been extremely blessful. So we're thankful for that.